All right, everybody. Dad just went to get some dog food for uh, Hazel here. Hey. Eh? And uh, so me and Curtis are gonna head to the barn um, and move some sheep back to where they originally were because Dad cleaned out the barn this morning. So that's what we're doing. And it's actually kind of cold out right now. That's why I'm wearing this. And it doesn't zip, which is kind of a bummer. So, you're late. Why well, bring that's cold coat? Because it's cold out. So as you guys can probably tell, it's chore time by the noise. Um, this is what we got to do right now. We got to move all this stuff back to where it was supposed to be. Because Dad uh, cleaned her out. It's really nice and, uh, nice and low and all nicely bedded. So yeah, we just have to move this and uh, get her all nicely cleaned up. And that'll be good. Right, Hazel? I think she's pretty dog tired after running all the way here. Feller meal. So kind of like that. Okay. Pull up some tails. for uh, the Ethan's here, right?
ways to do that is you just clean out their feeder and then you pour pour a bit, a bit of mineral in. Kind of hard to find hand. There we go. Just like that. And then they just eat from there. This here, this is our creek feed area for the lambs. So you can see the lambs cannot fit through, the, I mean the ewes can't fit through these little holes here when they have the lamb skin, so they fit through and they get this creep feed mix, corn and expeller meal. And uh, yeah, just walk through the back here. some more. Here's another creek feed area. Looks like these ones are pretty hungry. Anyway, so yeah that's just another part of chores that we do. These ones here, these ones are doing well. They are currently still getting bred by Albert. The um, reason we call him Albert is because he came from Alberta. So Albert, Alberta. That's kind of why we chose it. These ones here are our uh, milk machine lambs. These were the ones that couldn't be, uh, their mothers couldn't really support them, so we put them on the milk machine. This one here, his name is Fuzzy, he's really tame. Yeah, often our milk machine lambs are, are tame because we, we fed them bottles. This one here is also was a milk machine lamb. That's why he's, she is so tame as well. This is Blackie. So yeah, these ones are doing pretty good. These guys tend to turn out just as well as the other lambs. So we're pretty happy with the system here. Just gonna feed some more some mineral because I ran out. These ones here, the replacements we had, they need at least half a pail like this of mineral because there's so much, so much sheep in here. And these guys really eat it up real quick, so we have to keep on giving them some more every time. So. Hello, Blackie. Hello. See, they just come in and uh, it's really tasty. All right, Blackie? These ones here are also our replacements. These ones are separated just because they were smaller and they uh, needed some better feed to keep them up. So we make sure we keep their feed high quality, good feed. Make sure they have mineral at all times. I'm gonna go check the pasture. It's kind of a bummer, I think. Curtis took the quad to the pig burn. So now I have to walk. <sighs> Challenges in life. Oh, wait, is it on slow mo? Oh. oh. So we're going to do some uh, weaning right now. It's. Uh, Something we usually do when they get to about 50 to 60 days and they're on good creep feed they're they're eating solid food really well and uh, it's time for the mothers to dry up and uh, get to the point where we can rebreed them again so we're going to instead of setting up the handling system which takes a bit of work uh, because it's such a small group of only about I think there's 15 or 16 ewes 
Um, we're just going to uh, feed corn in the front here, which will make all the ewes want to eat that, of course. And then we'll try to chase all their lambs to the other end of the pen and lock them in there. Okay, so Curtis and I are going to get started on weaning these lambs. He's going to feed corn along here so that all the mothers, the ewes, will line up here because they love corn. Um, and then I'm going to try to chase all the lambs along the back of the pen to the other end and lock them in there. So we'll see if this strategy works. Here goes. So now uh, we've got those lambs separated and we're going to take these ewes, the mothers of these lambs, and we're going to move them to the other end of the barn so that they no longer have contact with their, uh, with their little ones. So. Okay, so we got a pen here ready for them. Just going to run them down the aisle and into the pen here. Lamb catching. <laughs> There you go. Ooh. So Kurt's just starting to take this creep feeder down apart and we're going to move it into their pen over there. We won't need all these boards and uh, the gate here, we'll just need the actual uh, feeder. Alright, so we got them all nicely separated, they're already eating away here. Others are buying away on the other end over there, but they're all going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> 